Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday, October uh, 5th. It's wonderful to be with you today. I hope you had a great day yesterday. Uh, I hope you're praying this week, and I hope you're, I hope you're uh, uh, focusing on, on these readings and growing and just doing it, praying without ceasing, right? It's, it's this, it's this uh, as, as Augustine said, the breath of the soul, the relationship with God that we live in. We, we, we do that through prayer, knowing who we are and who God is and trusting him and, uh, and, and, and trusting his promises with prayer, huh? So I'm, I'm going to read you um, uh, just a couple things today. The, the first one is a story that I love, uh, and, and it's about prayer, okay? So this is in the book of Acts, okay? And Peter uh, has been thrown into prison for preaching the good news of Jesus Christ. And he's got, and he's, he's got chains on his hands and his legs. Uh, Herod has already killed the uh, disciple, the apostle James. Uh, and so it looks like Peter's going to be next, right? Um, so here, here we go. We'll pick it up here. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church, the people uh, that believed in Jesus, were earnestly praying to God for him. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, there was going to be a, a, a sham trial. They, 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 they were going to kill him, right? Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. So there's no hope, right? Sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Good luck, pal. You're dead. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. Then the angel said to him, put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me, the angel, the angel told him. Peter followed him out of the prison, but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening. He thought he was seeing a vision. So Peter, he didn't think it was all real. He, he, he thought it was a vision. And that, that's going to be a theme that comes through here, right? Peter can't believe he's being rescued, <laughs> uh, even though all the people are praying for him. And I would imagine he was praying too, huh? They passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city. It opened for them by itself, and they went through it. When they had walked the length of one street, suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter came to himself and said, Now I know without a doubt that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were anticipating. So now he knew that God had rescued him. When this had dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. So the church was praying. The people were praying for him. Peter knocked at the outer entrance, and a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized uh, Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed, she ran back without opening it and exclaimed, Peter's at the door! Peter's at the door! <laughs> Peter's here, right? So what did they say? Oh, man, God must have heard our prayers, right? And he answered them. No, 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 this is what they said. You're out of your mind, they told her. You're out of your mind. God doesn't hear prayers. He doesn't answer them. You're out of your mind. <laughs> but she kept insisting that it was so. They said, it must be his angel. You're out of your mind. Huh? And, and if you're not out of your mind, it's just a vision. It's his angel. It's not him. But Peter kept on knocking. And when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Even though they'd all been praying, they'd all been taught to pray without ceasing, you know, that God... Uh, answers prayer that we're his dear children that that uh, you know ask seek and knock this the, the the teachings of Jesus right uh, they were astonished Peter motioned with his hand for them to be quiet and described that the Lord had brought him out of prison tell James and the brothers about this he said and then he left for another place you know that's what happens with our prayers we we um, we don't anticipate God acting on them but he does and he will uh, sometimes we don't see it. In, in fact, many times we don't see it. Uh, but our prayers are powerful. Um, there's this verse in Psalms. It's one of my favorite with prayers, too. It, it's Psalm 5. It starts, Give word, ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my sighing. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God. For you, for to you I pray. Now, I think the people that were praying for Peter might have mouthed these words. huh? Listen to us, O King. Hear us. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus. Help us. But then it says, In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. May God's Spirit empower us to pray with expectation, to know that God hears us and will act. Uh, and so boldly, and faithfully pray. Would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, I thank you uh, 
for, for these wonderful teachings on prayer. We pray every day that we might pray expecting and knowing that you'll do great things. We pray in your name. Amen. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow yet. May God be with us. May God be with you and me. Bye-bye.